Our next speaker, I'm very excited to introduce you to a world leading expert in swordfish, uh, who's a very brave person, uh, knows a lot about bravery also. World leading expert in that too. Uh, please put your hands together for Vanessa Wells. Kia ora koutou. Ko Vanessa Wells, toko ingoa. My name is Vanessa Wells and I happen to be an expert in swordfish. Uh, I would like to talk to you today about swordfish and, and the inherent bravery in that particular animal and what we all together can link as a basis for humanity and fish. <laughs> Uh, is, there is a base level of bravery that links us all, and today is about linking. So here's my first slide. Yes. No. <laughs> I can see a lovely slide here. It's the first time I've ever seen this slide. You, however, see nothing. <laughs> and this is the importance of TEDx. <laughs> to look within <laughs> and to open your minds and be able to see stuff. <laughs> this is what swordfish do also so they don't run into other fish underwater. Because of course if a swordfish was to run into other things you would have other fish skewered on the front of swordfish. <laughs> this of course belies the bravery of the swordfish <laughs> because all it's doing is skewering other fish. <laughs> However, the other fish are incredibly brave to swim in front of a swordfish. <laughs> Imagine, if you would, a manatee. <laughs> Big mammal-ish. <laughs> Not sure? How the hell am I meant to know if you don't know? <laughs> swimming bravely in front of a swordfish, a swordfish merely going to introduce itself and finding itself skewered. <laughs> However, it's okay for the manatee. They have about three feet of blubber, so it's all right. They just, like, wriggle free and swim off. <laughs> so, here I am today, and I need to speak to you about my bravest moment. I have a certificate in swordfish, and... Uh, <laughs> So, when I was walking along this bridge, studying for my certificate in sword fishery, I, I had a moment where I suddenly felt scared for the state of our oceans. Now, the state of our oceans is actually a deeply serious serious talk, and there have been a lot of TEDx talks about such serious matters. However, I found that I had inspiration in my next slide. <laughs> yep. Communication. I had inspiration from communication, and I really feel that the world today should be better communicators, and that if everybody communicated better, we would have less destruction of our oceans, and therefore the swordfish would be happier. Are you with me? Do you understand what I'm talking about here? Yes! Great, because I'm not so sure that I do. And that's why we need to pay for stuff. However, it's the paying for things that the swordfish is trying to avoid. If we weren't so worried about our credit ratings and what we purchase and our consumerism, the swordfish would have better homes. <laughs> <laughs> and they wouldn't be being eaten by tigers. <laughs> okay, so when I was studying for my certificate in sword fishery, I met this guy, <laughs> Pepper. <laughs> Yep, that's right. <laughs> its name is Peppa. And then Peppa said to me, you need to get brave. You need to stand on a red dot in front of 500 odd people and make stuff up. <clears throat> I felt like a little mouse. I wanted to run away and hide. But I thought, no, be brave. The swordfish needs you. Swordfish 
<laughs> are finding that their territories are becoming smaller. They are being fenced in because of the way that we are polluting our oceans. This is deeply serious. And money is the, the root of all evil, potentially. Actually, you should be donating your money to the Save the Swordfish Foundation. Save our swordfish, SOS. Yes. Um, I immediately think of fires in the Amazon, which is not, not at all connected with the swordfish yet, except that the four swordfish are swimming in the oceans just off the side. And uh, our graphs are telling us that we need to be looking after ourselves and, and, and I need to bring this back to our land. <laughs> back to the land that we stand on, standing. It's very important and it is of course what this entire day has been, been framed around, our Turanga Waiwai and finding your Turanga Waiwai. Mine is near Swordfish and Snapchat. <laughs> Near Swordfish and Snapchat and via Snapchat, Snapchat, Chap Snat, and these other social things, we can come together because it is all about coming together. And this beautiful vista here is just to take your mind at peace before I show you my penultimate slide, this. <laughs> what, whoops, how did that get in there? That was a Snapchat from the mall earlier. <laughs> The king of the jungle when we're talking about oceans. But this, people, is what I'm talking about, is coming together. Oceans and land and all of us in this space. This space happens to be part of my Turanga Waiwai. I grew up here. The James Hay Theatre is very important to me. It's really wonderful to be back. And <laughs> this is how I feel right now. <laughs> And I would like to finish up by asking you all to stand. 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 Because this is what today is about. Stand in the place that you are. Stand. Think about direction. Wonder why you haven't before. Just let that sit for a wee second. And then think about the swordfish. <laughs> think about how brave they are. And think about how brave you are. Think about how bravery brings us all together. And stand, stand in the place that you are. So stand. <laughs> Thank you.